Hello there, my name is Pablo, and in this video I'm going to show you how to solve some common problems when we are working with RStudio. Let's start with a quick recap on how to run a line of code. You can write on your script and run your command by pressing Enter, or you can even run your command by selecting the code you want to run from your script and then clicking on the Run command. Or, if you prefer, you can even run your command using the keyboard shortcut Control enter Command-Enter if you are on a Mac. It's a sunny day. Everything is going well today. But as you try to run the code from your script, nothing happens. You keep on pressing Enter and still nothing. VR console tells you when it is ready to receive a command for a new line, or when it is waiting for you to finish a previous command line. The console will have a greater than symbol if it is waiting for a new command. You can see here that R is ready to receive a new command, so you just type and press enter. However, if you type an incomplete command line, then the console will change to a plus sign. R is effectively waiting for you to finish the command. So what can we do here? We could clearly finish the command. However, in most cases, we don't have any idea how to finish a command because we thought the command was already finished. Then what? Well, simple. Press escape. R will forget about the previous finished command line and will be ready for a brand new command. But why does this happen? Great question. A classic example of how this happens is when you have unbalanced parentheses or brackets. Imagine you are calling a function and you don't close an open bracket. However, when you give the bracket a body, everything runs just fine. Similar things happen if you're a subsetting and you don't give a swear bracket a body. Again, if you stick to the bracket body system, everything works just fine. What if I'm running an if statement or a loop? Well, the same rule applies here. Every curly bracket needs a body. For instance, if you want to run an if statement and you don't give the curly bracket a body, just give them a body. What if I still end up with an incomplete command? Don't stress. When in doubt, escape out and press escape. So let's go back to the sunny day. You're scripting and then suddenly all of your script has one single color with no distinction between variables, functions and text. This problem is usually caused by unclosed quotation marks. You might have noticed this the new color of your script is now the color that usually goes within quotation marks. Same principle applies here. Every quotation mark needs a body. The best thing to do is to go back in your code and look for the unclosed quotation mark. This is usually easy to spot since this is exactly where the code changed color. So to recap, every bracket needs a body and when in doubt, escape out. Oh, and every quote needs a body. <laughs> 